What up, what up everyone? My name is William aka Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things gig economy, particularly Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Caviar. Just landed here in uh in downtown LA. We're gonna talk about uh bike deliveries. So this is kind of a, a weird day because uh California has a uh, the, the, the mayor Eric he requested that uh, he have all bars museums bowling alleys and restaurants closed there are only gonna be available for takeout or delivery so in other words we're gonna be hella busy today or actually for the rest of the month it's gonna be nuts yeah. starting today at mid uh well yesterday at midnight which was sunday everything is closed like anything with a bit uh, with a gathering of people i think with like 50 or more well everything really look everything is so empty all the restaurants are closed so today i'm just going to be dealing with uh well i'm going to do deliveries fortunately like we're still going to have requests uh, for the restaurants that do decide to just do the takeout and delivery option like right now just when i got started i got three deliveries inside of chipotle two with doordash one with uber eats so I'm expecting this to be very busy. Um, and it's gonna be weird because it's gonna be very lonely out here. Not many people walking around. So I just got started, but <laughs> this episode is gonna be pretty much dedicated to talking about everything going on with COVID-19, the coronavirus. But uh, yeah, guys, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, and we're gonna get on it and talk about uh, the virus as much as I can. Tips and tricks, how to stay safe and uh, what to expect. All right, so uh, a lot of things to talk about today. Um, it is expected to rain later on today, but per usual, I'm prepared for the rain. I just bought a raincoat. Uh, I got here on Saturday. It's a really nice one. It's all black. Uh, so it's waterproof. So it's going to be great for, for to keep dry. Plus it has a zipper and styrofoam. So I'll be able to stick the GoPro through the, uh, through the little jacket, through the hole. Well, I won't zip it up all the way. I'm going to zip it up to the camera and then the rest do styrofoam. I mean styrofoam. Velcro. <laughs> stick it with Velcro. And then, uh, you know, so I can still film. But uh, that should be interesting. I'm ready for the rain. My feet are probably gonna get soaked, but got my waterproof boots on, heavy duty. I'm getting used to them. I rode like 55 miles in them, not bad. It's pretty comfortable. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see uh, I'm gonna try not to touch my face, clean my hands. Every every restaurant I go to, I'm gonna wash my hands. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. And so so far, it's very busy. Getting requests left and right. Getting dropped off. Nice. On the Lambo. Look out, Rouse. There's a line out here. I think they're letting only. They're letting a, a limited amount of people in to avoid uh, many people. But the but the bad part is that there's a line outside. And because of the line, there's a lot of people close together breathing and shit. Yeah, so it's, uh, they're just trying to take precautions. But some, some in some scenarios, it just might make it worse. But yeah. I mean, any effort is better than no effort. Yeah. 
should put my phone in there too. <laughs> just went to Chipotle for the second time and I picked up three orders again. Two for DoorDash, one for Uber Eats. So I literally got six deliveries already. Picking up twice at the same restaurant. That's nuts. <laughs> Whoa. So I got my first uh, no contact delivery. So uh, because of the coronavirus, uh, customers uh, upon the request can uh, choose a no contact delivery. So it basically just means that uh, you're going to deliver to them, but not directly. Like for example, this customer that I'm gonna deliver to, from DoorDash, he wants me to go to the floor, to, to his floor and just drop it off and leave it at his door. So, I mean, that's cool. It's a precaution for both of us, for him and myself, which is great. Damn, it's an $11 delivery. Uh, let's do it. Eleven dollars and sixty cents. I'm about to go pick up a Panda Express right now. Cool, let's do it. It's a little bit south, but I'm kind of going that way, so let's do it. Yeah, so no contact delivery. That's gonna. I'm sure that's going to increase, uh, which is fine. I think it's good news. I hope more customers choose that. So I can kind of just leave it at the door. And bounce. Gotta have no contact with them. Not yet. Cool. So I'm cleaning my phone since the phone is probably like the dirtiest thing. <laughs> Can touch. All right. Percussion. <laughs> so I got another request at Chipotle. I've literally just been doing pickups at Chipotle. That's it. So I'm gonna go there and uh, then I uh, head to uh, the destination, see if I get any more additional pickups from the same place. Shit, I'm fine with just doing one restaurant if it's gonna stay busy like that. So I may, let's see, 17 plus 13, that's 30 bucks so far. Forgot what time I got here. So I just dropped off at this building and uh, I overheard the concierge get told by, I don't know, I think it's probably head of security that uh, the tenants are gonna begin, uh, they're gonna request them to start coming downstairs to pick up their food. So, in a way that's good news because it shortens the time for us to have to go upstairs and drop it off to their door. But I'm not sure if this is, I mean, it's, it's only for one building. I'm not sure what every single building is gonna uh, request of their tenants to do to, you know, avoid spread the spread of the coronavirus. But I'm just seeing that's just one building but changes are gonna happen real quick. So I'm just letting you guys know what I just heard at this building. It's the second time I delivered at that building. And then, yeah. So it's cool because it saves us time, really. If we just have to leave it at the lobby, cool. They just call their customer, customer makes their way down. But by the time they're coming downstairs, you're already gone. That's good. I like that. Fucking the goddamn bike lane. Don't get me started with y'all. Oh, pick up a holla, guys. God damn. Delivery is across the bridge over the LA River. No, thank you. So, one of the hardest things for me to do is not touch my face. Jesus. You know, I like to caress my beard. I like to poke my eyes, pick my nose. Can't do none of that. Jesus.
But I'm here in my little hot zone, waiting for deliveries. And DoorDash, Uber Eats, 23 plus 13. How much is that? 40 bucks. Oh no, I'm tripping. That's 36. Good change. Cool, cute, cute. It's about to be one though. Came out here kind of late. There's people walking around. Not as much as before. Usually these streets are packed. Bunch of bodies walking around, hungry. I don't see that right now. 10 minute break right here. So I can eat my meal prep. So I'm hungry. Ugh. I ate breakfast, but that was early in the morning. Like at eight o'clock, I ate. About to eat right now, son. Homemade. Yeah. Had a little munch session real quick. Chow down to my meal prep. Bow down to my meal prep. Uh, Alright, so I gotta go pick up at. I got two pickups. Gotta go to Panini. Then that place is always busy. Like people dine in. So now that they can't dine in, the wait time to pick up is probably gonna be long. A lot of people are gonna be ordering from there. So let's see what's up. And then I got two more at Chipotle. Going south and east. Let's do it. This shit is deep. Oh, I see a backpack, PK65 model. I see it. Oh, it's just picking up too. Yeah, a lot of people are picking up. Let's go check out the chaos. Turn my screen is on. All right. So we're picking up for Ines. Whole restaurant's empty. It's crazy. No one's eating here. Yeah. Yeah. Just dropped off the first delivery for DoorDash. I'm about to go drop off the second. Once I do both DoorDash, I'm gonna head to the uh, Uber Eats pickup. Drop off, I mean. Gotta go south, crossing the freeway towards South Central, my hood. Basically, we're going to my old house where I used to live, around that area. Nah, that's crazy. Like, uh, I've never seen downtown LA so empty during the day. real uh, check it out so as a precaution buy a little hand sanitizer you can clip onto my backpack let me do it right now uh, hopefully she's not hard to use sweet disinfect the disinfectant that's as well <laughs> so I'm just gonna clip this shit on my backpack It smells, smells pretty good. All right. Oh man, I did it. Now my hands are slippery. Shit. Eh. All right, there we go. Got got it on my backpack. So you know, I'll put it. I'll put it on once in a while. Just uh, cause uh, there is a lot of doors, doorknobs, buttons. Uh, that we touch daily you know i think we're at at uh the highest risk honestly because uh we come in contact with a lot of people so i'm just trying to do whatever i can to minimize my ass from catching it to uh spread it it's really the biggest risk is, is spreading it amongst people that are young 
because uh, I think only 2% of cases are fatal. But that's not really the uh, issue, only for elderly, older people. They're at the highest risk. We as people who are younger and uh, probably won't suffer much from it, we can spread it. And that's the problem. So avoid getting it in the first place. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, cough into your shoulder or your elbow. And then try to keep your distance from everybody. It's the best thing you can do. And if you get sick, which I hope I don't, you gotta stay home. That's it. Wait for this to flatline and we good. But for now, the like the statewide action that is being taken place, dining, uh, uh, takeout only, deliveries only. So every restaurant I go to, no one's gonna be sitting down eating there. Everyone's gonna be ordering and taking it out. That's what I've seen so far from the two restaurants I've been to. <laughs> I've only been to Chipotle and uh, Panini. Whoa, 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 whoa. I noticed something interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if it's a coincidence or is something that has to do in the algorithm of uh, the apps. So I picked up at Chipotle three times already. And I'm about to drop off. <clears throat> at the same building for the third time <clears throat> this could all be a coincidence or maybe uh doordash has uh yeah i just touched my face but i got hand sanitizer so i'm the hulk right now i'm unstoppable nah. <laughs> But yeah, maybe they're just, uh, with their algorithm, they're just trying to keep us in the same area. Not really to too many different places. Could be. I think it's interesting though. Well, like I said, it could just be a coincidence. That I'm dropping off. Picking up and dropping off at the same location. It's been three times already. Hmm. Interesting. So this hand sanitizer, it does kill COVID-19, right? <laughs> oh, look at this guy, looking like a little uh, Chewbacca over here. Oh shit, there's a lot of people on this sidewalk. Who's still lying here? But yeah, it does kill the COVID-19, right? Hand sanitizer. I mean, what if, I mean, because uh, what, hand sanitizer has what, alcohol? Does it kill all those motherfuckers? But what if they're a bunch of alcoholics? The coronavirus, it actually accelerates it. I mean, the word corona is literally in their name. Coronas probably mad alcoholics and shit who knows better safe than sorry yeah. nice I gotta pick up at the Starbucks right here Touch your face. Damn, they, they took out all the tables and chairs. <laughs> nice. No one can sit here. Boy, maybe it's the dance floor. I gotta drop off a couple blocks away. Damn, it's hand sanitary smells. Bomb. All right, let's go. Damn, she makes it all slippery. No bueno. 
The winds are strong as hell today. Just pushing me back right now when I was crossing the street. I crossed the street, I looked down, then I look up. I was back at the beginning of the street again. Didn't even realize it. So I had to cross the street again, fighting the winds this time. It's your cray out here. By a seventh and fig at George's Greek Grill. Usually there's hundreds of people there. I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like right now. Still see people walking down that street. It's usually very packed. But we gonna learn today. See how it is. And keep in mind that this is gonna be the norm from here till the end of this month. That's two weeks. I mean, I could get used to it. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's affecting a lot of people right now. So let's see, let's see what see what goes down in there right now. Little hand sanitizer. Fucking with me. Kill all these germs. Kill all the germs. How many bikes here? It's only two. Crazy. Usually there's like usually I can never find parking right here. They're all full. Check it out inside. So, there's a few people here. Not many. You get definitely significant decrease in traffic. Crazy. Check it out. They got all this shit closed in so no one eats here. You only see everyone people just getting food for takeout. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. All right, I got to pick up by George's Grill for uh, Uber Eats and DoorDash. They're both going in opposite directions. But it's all good because uh, they're not too far apart. So I'm going to go ahead and do, them. do the Uber, Uber Eats one first. And then the... Uh, DoorDash. Oh, they don't have the samples. So I have uh, just dropped off the Uber Eats one. Homie gave me a tip. He's like, I know you're riding out here in the rain and uh, I guess he knows it's gonna rain later. That's cool. First tip of the day. So now I'm going to rush across downtown LA, not across, but uh, all the way to Spring Street, drop this off. I already texted my customer that I'm going to drop off the first delivery, then head over there. Now I'm going to text on my way. Alright, cool. Should be there about seven minutes. Let's see, DoorDash set out to drop off at 3.08. It's 3.03 right now, so still on time. Pretty sure I'll make it on time. Uh, I think once you, if you deliver five minutes after the deliver, uh, the estimate delivery time, they mark you as late. Not that that affects you or anything, it just shows you a percentage on the app of how many of you have been on time or late. Here, I'll show you guys where I'm at. I'm at 69%, 70, to round it off, on time or early. So that's a pretty good percentage in my opinion, considering that I'm running three apps at the same time. Ratings are a 4.79. Acceptance rate is at a 38% because <laughs> I do decline a lot of rides. But that doesn't affect you. Um, someone did comment that in their market, they do, uh, 
they do uh, hold you accountable for acceptance rate that must suck so let's see so my friend my friend just said he had three consecutive $200 days hell yeah that's dope hell yeah that's good news you guys are I'm glad that you guys are trying to starting to see the potential in uh, how much money you can make off of this it's amazing I, I don't think I can uh, oh I just touched my face uh, I don't think I can uh, go back to the job Oh, speaking of uh, this business, I need to schedule myself. I don't know why I can't hear my alarms. I can't hear notifications on my phone. I'm gonna restart my phone right now. I think that might that might help. Uh, let's see. So I got a pickup at Starbucks and an additional pickup for caviar at Living Foods, which is uh, like two blocks south that way. I just said south and then pointed the direction. Wow, I need a coffee. My ex, uh, I'm gonna buy one here. Might as well, eh, $2. What? Man, I can't even understand you. Oh, damn. Oh, the empty and shit, look at this, I like this order my coffee and then I'll pick up picked up already but I'm gonna buy me a coffee with a two dollar tip that I got I think I need a 15 cents so I'm like, can I just get a tall coffee I'll bring the 15 cents right now I know I got 15 cents in here somewhere Oh, here they go, here they go. 15 cents. Thanks. Oh, and a venti cup of ice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Got my coffee here. I don't like hot coffee, and I don't want to order a freaking uh thank you bye i want to order uh, a authentic coffee because it's like five dollars nobody got time to pay five bucks me to pick up at 327 it's 322 right now so i'm gonna deliver this uh uber eats coffee coffees or whatever the fuck's in there and then uh i'm gonna go to the caviar pickup because caviar tends to send you the restaurant even though stuff's not ready oh well I, I accepted this delivery like 10 minutes ago if i would have got there they would have still been making it telling me to wait telling me to have a seat like no man i'm trying to get out of here son so that's why i'm gonna do this uber eats one first kill some time and then go over there where is it at anyway? All right, it's on the eight, seven, eighth and Main Street. Cool, I know where that's at. Check it out. You got a little dog. <laughs> it's a puppy. Uh, so, excuse me, man. So this uh, Starbucks one, look, it's doing the little, cannot complete delivery. The trip was too short. Please proceed to deliver location or wait a minute and try again. All right, let's try again. So this happens when you deliver too fast, such as myself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like too fast for that ad. I drop things off in a jiffy. Well, it's only two blocks. So it makes sense that it was kind of quick. But it does that. I don't know. I think they have a minimum time that it takes for you to deliver. Because maybe they're, the way their computing works, it doesn't let you do it because it wouldn't make sense. You'll probably go below the minimum amount. 
whatever. But look, check it out. I'm here at the, at the next pickup. Damn. I'm gonna lock her up right here. And then go grab it. It should be ready. It's 5.25, or 3.25. So I'm two minutes early. But uh, hopefully it is ready. Let's see, I won't even pause the video. Let's go see what's up. Chicken at restaurant. So we got a cold pressed juice, a sushi roll, and a sp another spring roll. Nice. Okay. Cool. This is the order now. Everything's empty. I like this. I feel like I live in a small town where everything's usually empty. Yeah. But I'm in one of the biggest cities in the world and it's empty. It's mind blowing. Jesus. I've seen all these places empty. Um, I can get used to it, like I said earlier. Fucking tigers. <laughs> Fucking up all this property. They don't even tag places where it's gonna be on there a long time. They take it off immediately. They tag at night. Morning time comes. Shit's gone. Y'all gotta be a little, a little more strategic than that. Look at this Honda. Kia, I mean. Kia halfway up on the bike lane. Don't get your side mirror broken off, son. All right, so we're about to go to 12th Street and Hope. Drop off this uh, Cav at Awe order. So far, um, I would say the, the traffic is average. I don't think it's like really high because all my other apps would have been going off like crazy. But then again, it's 3.33 right now. So it's too early to tell. Lunch, I got a little. I got here a little late, so I really wasn't really in the lunch rush a lot. But we'll see how dinner time is. I'm getting close to hitting my $100, which is my first half of my day, which means I'm on track for a regular day, my average day. Come on over. What you gonna do? I like your car though. He's equipped to go camping. But yeah, we'll see how the day turns out. It's just crazy seeing these restaurants empty, you know, where California banned the dining option. Also bars, museums, movie theaters, anything that has large social gatherings completely shut down. But living through history right now, this is so crazy, man. It. It's starting to rain. Shit, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this moment right here. I'm gonna put on my uh, raincoat. You know what? Uh, let's do that once I get to uh, California Kitchen Cabal. Cause yeah, I got another pickup over there. Test out this raincoat. Uh, I want to take this one off because I'm pretty sure I'll get too hot. I should just do it now, huh? Ah, and I gotta take out my ass saver too. So uh, I'll do that right now. Oh, look at Frenchie. Um, I canceled that delivery. Don't feel like doing it. You know why? Cause I passed it. <laughs> I didn't even notice I did. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll just do it later. So I'm gonna take out my, uh, I'm gonna take out my ass saver, which I have stored. Check it out, I got it stored in here. There's a little zipper here. This is just to put in this little, the paddings for the backpack. But in here I got my ass saver. <laughs> Check it out. So this is so the water doesn't splash up on my ass. 
and uh you know get it all wet pretty easy to install does the job lightweight you know it's not all it's not super big i used to have a big ass plastic ones they wobble around too much and my raincoat put this sucker to use i'm excited first time using it well i used it in the weekend but not for deliveries just used it because i went out so uh looks nice waterproof according to uh the description i'm gonna test that out let's see what this jacket's got all right my goddamn raincoat it stops raining I'm trying to test this shit out but I'm cursed it's like putting on the condom and the booty disappears Jesus this guy it's literally oh shit around the block <laughs> literally like right here right turn and we're there just gotta take it upstairs amazing been a few being out here a few hours let me give you guys a little update so i got 38 dollars with Uber Eats and some change. I got 52 with uh, what you call this shit? DoorDash. How much is that? That's uh, 90, right? Yeah, it's 90, 90, 78 because it's uh, 53 cents and 25 cents. So that's 90 with 78 cents. Caviar. I got 429. So let's say another five with the change of the other one. So I got $96. Cool. $96. So I'm about halfway there. One more delivery. I'll be at 100 bucks. Go is 200 per usual. Um, I hope it's busy during dinner time. But we will see. Now, I'm thinking right now that during this weekend, a lot of people stocked up. Like it's the fucking end of the world or some shit. So I went out and bought a bunch of TP and water. Um, probably some groceries too. So people might be stocked up on food. You know, trying to quarantine themselves. Well, they're going to run out of that food. So, is it safe to assume that maybe during time this might get busier? As far as the apps. Because uh, the traffic isn't normal. It's very awkward. Like right now, I have all three apps running. I haven't gotten any requests. It's 411. And that's strange. Usually Chick-fil-A is super busy. I'll get at least one from there. But probably another like hour or so. It's gonna start hitting uh, dinner time. And we'll see how that plays out. Will I hit my 200? Will it rain? Will it rain again? We'll see. It's Chick fil A. But there's no line. No one's eating because they put all the tables away. Everyone's just waiting for deliver for takeout and deliveries. Interesting. I want pizza. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if I got that on camera, but these two guys were like, what's up? They're about to give each other a handshake. Then they both stopped themselves and they just did the elbow thing. They were like, nah, you know what? Let's just do elbow. <laughs> oh, this virus got everyone spooked. Shit cray. 
Oh shit, I gotta. So I gotta pick up a caviar. I'm getting a, an, an additional request right now. Let's see, Uber Eats. Alright, where are you going? Uh, I'm not going in that direction. So no, thank you. So after this delivery, I should be at 100 bucks. Caviar. You know how caviar does tips like late. Sends them to you later on. So I'm not too sure how the tips gonna be with caviar. But yeah, let's go pick up these tacos. Not very uh, coronavirus protection with that car or tricycle or whatever the fuck you call it. That white car we just passed. Looks like he's about to go play a Mario Kart game. To look like he's from uh, his little race car from the Little Rascals. Home here like a Hot Wheel car. <laughs> Hand sanitizing all day. Oh fuck, he's got a bunch of soap all over my jacket. Fuck it. Disinfected jacket too. Even the GoPro. Everyone could be a victim to the coronavirus. So, uh, on the way, I gotta pick up at Sweet Greens. And it's like, drop off is like two blocks away. I've been seeing a lot of short distance deliveries. Probably has to do a lot with the, uh, with our people, you know, isolating themselves, ordering food from places really close to them. Oh yeah, I'm about to pick up. Just pick up sweet greens and then drop it off right away and then go do this uh, caviar drop off. So after this, we're gonna be past the uh, ah ah past the uh, one hundred dollar threshold, which means I'm past the first half of my day. Yay! And good news. And we'll see what the night brings. How exciting! In there, ghost in there. Ghost here, ghost town everywhere. Look at this guy dancing, getting it in. Okay, okay. I see you, I see you. Get my order. Hey brother, who are you picking up for? Uh, I'm just gonna set it down for you so you can grab it. Picking up for uh, Eugene. Thank you. Eugene. Oh, well, they're taking their precautions here for show. Right, so we got we got the Uber Eats one out the way. Let's go drop this cavi off. All right. So this is gonna go to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, let's wait here. This is expected to be delivered by 4.44, it's 4.32, so I got like about 2 minutes, shouldn't take me that long. It'll take me probably half the time. Check out my, my uh, flannel, because it was getting a little hot. So I'm going to put this away. Get back on it. Get back on it. I mean, this shit doesn't charge when it, this charges when it wants to. <sighs> Connect just works when it wants to. It's so annoying. Right. I'm putting it in my. I'm putting it the battery in my backpack because no water gets in there, so it's safe from the rain. But yeah. Uh, Chick-fil-A for a $9 delivery oh I got five seconds to cross this light so let's do it I'm curious to see how Chick-fil-A is gonna be because Chick-fil-A is usually extremely hot 
with people. Yeah, I wonder how it's gonna be right now. I hope they don't take as long too. Let's see, it's a small order. Oh, damn, what a difference. I like it. Alright, so I picked up at Chick-fil-A. I got a Uber Eats one. But then I canceled it. <laughs> but now that I see where the DoorDash delivery is going to be and the Uber Eats one, they were both really close. I don't know why I canceled it. I should have just kept it. But uh, oh well, make mistakes. It happens. Not losing anything, I'm just not gaining that additional, like, what was it, like five bucks? This delivery is $9. I would have made $14 off both. But oh well. Okay, but as you can see, it's starting to rain. Finally. Testing out the damn jacket. is parked out here is there like no one delivering or what my folks scared of a little rain he's doing it this guy's doing it all right i'm gonna pick up a california pizza kitchen which is right here this jacket is putting in work my uh torso area is completely dry I feel nada, nothing, zero, zip. So let me go in here and uh, pick up the damn food. I'm liking this setup. So far, so good. Let me drink this coffee. Fuck this shit up. I don't want to drink it too late because then I'll be up all night. So I know exactly where this is going. Not too far. It's, let's see, we're on uh, Seventh East Big. This drop off is going about four blocks away for five dollars and fifty-five cent. Kind of low, but uh, better than nothing. Ooh, that dude smell bad. Oh, look, I forgot the backpack on. Oh, nice. It's a mini version. Hey, that smaller version is so sick. I'm gonna do a video on it so you guys can check it out. Probably do it tonight. So nice. And it's raining. Look at this. It's gonna look so nice at night too. Can't wait. I gotta make a left here. Run it down the sidewalk. About a block away, two blocks away. I'm gonna call my customer. Wait for me outside because they don't let me go up. A lot of red, a lot of buildings are not letting me go upstairs to leap to the suite. Which, like I mentioned earlier, is good because it saves time and it's safer. Yeah, that dude's belly was covering half the damn sidewalk. Good look like. He looked like he was nine months in. Motherfucker looked like he's giving birth to the coronavirus. <laughs> Alright, almost there. Across the street right now. Got a five dollar tip, son. That's seven bucks for the day. I'm getting a request from DoorDash. Ooh, $8? Don't mind if I do. Let's do this. 
start stacking this cash, boy. So it's supposed to be rush hour right now, but there is there is not that many cars out here. So that's really good. Less cars on the road, even better. Good for the planet. <laughs> And uh, yeah, people are really staying home. So my, my, my legs are starting to get wet, but my body is completely dry. So that's super awesome. Uh, and then I got my hat with the hoodie on. Works flawlessly. I love it. I can get used to this. And then my ass saver is saving my booty hole from getting all this water in it. My ass is dry. That's good too. So I'm about to pick up here at Meat Zilla. Right there. Got an $8 delivery, I believe. How much is this shit? Let's see. Hold on. Let me get up in here. Them off. Huh? Alright, so. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. What for me? So I think my GoPro got like hey. a little, hey. a little access. Let's go when I open it. Do it. Hey. Come on in. Somebody here? Uh, it's all good. They're, they're coming down. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, so. Uh, I lost a little door for the GoPro so I put tape over it but it's acting a little weird so I'm gonna have to put a new piece of tape to cover it so get in there so I'm gonna do that right now try to cover it because it was acting a little weird earlier as if water got in it or something so I'll try to fix it I, I taped the shit out of that door so I mean it's the best I could do so I hope no water gets in there Oh, shit, we'll see how good it, it, it uh, comes out. So right now I gotta pick up at uh, Margarita's place, a couple blocks from here, and drop this off. Got the other app running, and homeless people just trying to get some, uh, trying to stay dry. Some uh, so many times people have tents, which prevents them from getting wet. That's good, but not everybody. It's crazy out here. Then you guys staying dry, staying it smart. I am gonna need waterproof pants. 
my legs are soaked. Thank you. What's up, man? I got an Uber for uh, Elvin. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. place doesn't let you go upstairs either so let me call them right now now I'll just leave it at the front desk and then text them I don't want to take out my phone right now too much work what do you guys think of this weather it's pretty nice right as long as my electronics are good I'm good. The next thing I'm gonna get is my waterproof pants. Maybe gloves. It's not that cold though. It's just wet. The pants are perfect because I could put them over my current pants. Ah! Fuck the police! Alright. Just kidding, police. Alright, so I'm uh yeah I think I'm just gonna get the pants cover the just keep my legs warm. Cause it's cool to have uh I mean I wouldn't mind being like soaked in the legs for a few hours. But the whole day? Like if I take a break and you know my body does not as warm as it was when I was riding, I'm gonna get cold. Really cold. It's gonna be uncomfortable. So to get those waterproof pants I think it'll make a huge difference be nice and cozy out here look how empty the streets are studying people walking in the sidewalks I mean there's two factors there's the rain which is one and then the whole pandem pandemic going on on our planet it's crazy how fast things can spread so with this guy Oh, he's trying to park right here. <laughs> he's trying to sell some tacos, son. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not even supposed to come this way. I'm supposed to go that way. Good thing I caught it. All right, let's go. All right, so uh, that's been delivered. So now I have a... Uh, nine dollar delivery uh, I gotta go to Panda Express which is kind of far it's crossing the freeway and it but it, I like that it comes back this way so I'm just gonna go do that and make my way back hopefully I get something on the way you got my my backlight on super bright just so cars can see my ass I know it's not nighttime, but uh, I put that light on when it's either foggy or raining or something other than it being sunny just to stand out more. You know, sometimes people have their foggy windows, they got the rain on their glass, and sometimes they just can't see you. So the light should help. No one's gonna run into a light. At least that's what I hope. <laughs> I'm getting an additional request. Probably a caviar. Let's check. Oh, 
damn it. With the rain, I can't really, uh, unlock this phone. You know, I'm just not even going to touch it. Let me just get to this destination to pick up. Then I'll take my phone out. That way I can just focus. Not have any accidents and shit. It is fun, yo. Woo. I gotta ride all cautiously. It's like a different level in the video game. Delivery plus rain, motherfucker. Can you do it? I got this, boy. Oh, I gotta pick up speed. Let me get on the right. 20 miles an hour? Like a ball. Oh, whoa, don't come out. I need a front light. Alright, I'm arriving at the shopping center where Panda is. Walking plastic bags. Nice. I gotta get on their level. Gotta be a waterproof human. Picked up by Panda. Oh, that guy has a plastic over his head and a helmet on top. Nice. Damn, seeing all these people with their ideas, I'm gonna level up. Pretty soon I'm gonna be waterproof, son. It's not a drop on me, but my eyeballs. I'm like soaked. Well, the jacket is soaked. I'm pretty dry. Check out the camera. Oh. Looks like a stereo body cam. Set up looking pretty good. My legs are the only one thing, only thing that that's wet. That in my hands. Look at that. It's getting flooded. About to ride through that. Nice. Yeah. Watch yourself, son. Don't run me over. Right, I'm almost there. Got this $8 DoorDash delivery. Haven't gotten much from Uber. Uber, Uber is over here quiet. Scared to come out and play. So far, DoorDash seems to be the one that's been the most consistent. This is the hospital. There's a line. They're building another hospital right here. Something's up with my front rim. I'm not sure what. But it's kind of sketchy. I think I'm, uh, I don't know, I don't think I should ride it tomorrow. Probably swap out for the other kind of nail. Give that one a shot. Tip, y'all. Oh shit, $2. That's nine dollars cash for the day. Nice. Uh, I was waiting for the second order from Chipotle, but they were taking a bit long. But since this one was like literally around the block, I decided to come drop this off. And hopefully by the time I get back, the uh, DoorDash one is ready. Pretty sure it will be. And then I'll go drop that off. It's about to be 7 o'clock. 64. 
body so I think right now is a good time to put the my thermal back on add that extra layer it's like a warm up baby we'll do it right now real quick there we go alright so I got two pickups at Chipotle so I'm gonna go back there one of them was six dollars the other was almost ten and they're both really close by so it's like $15 and change for two deliveries which is great so I went ahead and put that extra layer that thermal back on I feel good the only thing is my legs they're soaked so I have to make sure that I'm like when I do start cycling I'm gonna ride a little extra fast that way like my body warms up again like right now it's gonna take off so that way I'm uh I'm warm and I stay that way because I was waiting at Chipotle for a little while and that's dangerous here we go So I am on my way uh, to go get this first drop off. Hi, this is William with the food delivery. Cool. Just a heads up, I'm a couple of blocks away, but I should be there soon. Like two minutes. I'm a couple of blocks away, but I should be there in like two minutes. All right, man. See you there. Bye. calling my customer that way they can come out y'all know the drill so you can meet me outside and uh since i have two i have two pickups so you know the faster i can get this hand this off the faster i can get to the other place if i can get other delivery so i got the first delivery out so i'm going to the second one seventh and spring but i'm going to try to do this one like get some speed so I can work out the body and warm up a little bit uh, let's take off right here try to get some speed baby down 9th street I don't want to turn too quick hook on and slip alright I'll just wait right here this is nuts guys check it out so DoorDash, I have 109. They just they just hit 100. They just say 110, 64, 110 plus 64. Ah, 
plus 64 plus I got nine dollars in tips so far plus and then uh, 1978 with uh, caviar I got a ten dollar tip that's nuts I'm gonna round it off to just to say 19 I'm already at 202 bucks whoa I can technically go home but I'm gonna keep pushing it gonna keep doing it see how much money I can squeeze out it's barely 730 nice I like it I like it motherfucker was on his phone almost hit my ass jerks all right well, I got two pickups. Arudami Burger. One from Caviar. And one from Uber. I don't like the sound on my front rim, man. It's just weird. I'm not going to bring this bike out tomorrow. So I get it checked out. So I'm going to bring out the Cannondale. The other smaller one. Slider, because it doesn't have disc brakes. But both brakes work. So I'm gonna make the swap. So yeah. Ooh. Actually another Chipotle order from uh Doordash. Seven dollars. Let's do it. Alright. Pretty sure it's gonna take a while, so Let's see what's up. So I picked up the Uber Eats one, but the caviar was taking way too long. And it's only three dollars so I, I just uh i'm messaging caviar right now telling them to unsign me because it was taking too long so you have to do that extra step with caviar to unassign you have to message them and give them the order number so i just did that you know, i'm waiting for them to unassign me but meanwhile I got the Uber Eats one, and I'm about to pick up the Chipotle. Um, they're both headed south, so that's good. The, the destinations are near. Alright, so... Got the first, uh... Gonna drop out the first delivery. Which is Chipotle. Then, uh... Head, what is it? Uh, west and do the reach one. Damn, guys, I'm already at 200. That's crazy. After this one, probably be like a 215. I've only ridden like 35 miles. Oh, shit, what's going on right now? Drop out this Uber. Ooh, we doing good, baby. On Avo. I'm hungry. Trying to get something to eat. All right, guys, so check it out. I decided to call it a night. That was crazy like seeing all those uh what is up with this car right here yeah so uh yeah seeing all those restaurants it's empty you know so with this car right here. Yeah, those all those restaurants are just empty. And that was a sight to see, you know, dining. What I fear is complete shutdown, lockdown of the city. That's gonna suck. How can you? How are you gonna lock down like an entire city? Like we're not, not gonna be able to work. No wonder we'll be. 
San Francisco, I heard, is on lockdown. I don't, I haven't confirmed that, but things are happening so quickly. Um, but yeah, here's here's my summary, guys. My summary. So in total, I made 217 for 41 cents. That's in eight hours or less. So I made 1978 with caviar. It was a ten dollar tip in there. Uh, it was seventy two eighteen for Uber Eats, only five dollars in tips. Fucking Uber, man. and uh, there was uh, it's a hundred and sixteen or forty five cents with DoorDash, and I had uh, nine dollars in cash tips, two dollars, two dollars, and a five dollar bill, which I still have in my pocket. So that's pretty good. Let's see how many miles. The speedometer for some reason wasn't working at first. I think because I left my bike out in the rain. So I'm at 37 miles. Plus I think there's five that I lost. Well let's see uh let's see what 57 miles. Damn. That's what Strava says. That's nuts. <laughs> Doesn't even feel like I rode 57 miles. Alright, well. Yeah, that's basically the uh, what I got so far. Um, just make sure you guys are, uh, you know, washing your hands frequently. I bought the hand sanitizer. I was uh, cleaning my hands. What the hell? Still have Uber on? Let's see what's up with this delivery. Nah, I'm okay. Let me, let me go offline. Um. Yeah, so I was washing my hands often. I try not to touch my face. I will cough into my... Well, I haven't coughed, but I was keeping in mind that, you know, cough into my elbow if I need to. Uh, I don't feel sick. I feel good. I was staying away from people. So, you know, pretty good day. Solid day. Even for the rain. But uh, we'll see how these things uh, change throughout the, the week or the coming months. I'll keep you guys posted on any, any anything that I observe or learn. Well, on that note, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you guys viewing in, tuning in, riding with me. Um, yeah, guys, stay stay uh, stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, go out and make that money. Like and subscribe. I'll, I'll uh, post some more videos later this week. Peace.